Welcome back. My name is Olivia, and I will be directing our next session on competency-based medical education. <gasps> oh, okay. Please remember you can send us your questions using hashtag CBME17. Please welcome our panelists, Dr. McBurney, Dr. Payne, and Dr. Stiles. Let's get started. So what is CBME? Well, it's a new way of teaching medicine that we're adopting here in Canada. It's coming pretty soon now, and people need to know about it. Very interesting. Our first Twitter question is, how is CBME going to change things? Let's start by thinking about how we do it now. Doctors have been trained pretty much the same way for hundreds of years. You go to med school and everyone learns pretty much the same stuff over the same length of time. It's a little like a factory. We bring in this many students, they do the courses, they take the exams, then they graduate and they're doctors. And then they go into residency, hang out in the hospital for a few years and learn stuff at the same time as everybody else. Well, that sounds excellent and very efficient. So what's the problem? Well, the thing is, that's not what mm, actually happens. People learn in different ways and at different rates, and some people are better at one thing than another. Also, there's no such thing as learning everything. It's easy to miss out on important stuff if you don't happen to see it. So it's all a bit random. Your doctor might know lots of stuff about one thing, but not so much about another. Yeah, I agree. Like, I know nothing about the kidney. Uh, so anyways... We were talking about competency-based medical education. Um, yes. So that's what it's like now. But how will CBME be different? The first piece is that it's focused on the learner rather than the system. The next part is the competencies, making an actual list of the stuff you have to know and do. That sounds like it would be easier to learn instead of just saying, go and learn all this stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Once you have a list, then we can put it in a sequence that makes sense. Learn this, and then learn that. The last piece is assessment. When learners show if they have learned what they're supposed to. Show me the learning! Um, yes, I suppose so. But why are you shouting? You know, like in Jerry Maguire? Sheesh, you guys should get out more. Okay, I think I've got it. Break it up into pieces, learn the pieces in sequence, and then show us you've got it. What's not to like? Well, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. You know how currently everyone does the same things at the same speed? Uh-huh. Well, in its purest form, CBME allows people to learn at their own speed. People should be able to go fast for stuff they already know, and then slower for stuff they need more time to get good at. Once you've studied and practiced, you can put up your hand and ask to be tested. Then, if you can show us that you've learned what you were supposed to learn, you move on to the next part. That sounds great! Yeah, except it means that instead of everyone doing the same courses at the same rate, they will all be moving at different speeds. complicated. Yeah, believe me, total administrative nightmare. That's the part we haven't quite worked out yet. Hmm, that sounds challenging. Yeah, no kidding. There are other interesting questions too, like what if you show up on the first day of class and ask to take the exam, and you pass it? What do you do for the rest of the class? Help teach it? Move to another course? Go on vacation? No one's quite sure yet. Yeah, and who exactly is going to be looking after our patients when all these students and residents are moving around at different speeds learning different stuff? Ugh, makes my head spin. Um, yes, right. It sounds like it's going to be very interesting figuring it out all over the next few years. So that's all the time we have. I'd like to thank our panelists once again for this excellent and informative session. We have a coffee break coming up now, and then our next session is on teaching professionalism using movies. I bet you they've heard of Jerry Maguire. 